everybody so today I have the next edition in my kids inspired look series no my kids movie inspired look series. If I add more arms, it'll make it easier to say, right? So today I am doing Moana. Now, I actually hadn't seen Moana until I got a million requests from you guys to do Moana for this series. So David and I wanted to do a movie night, and so we just went to the Redbox, and Moana was on, on Redbox, and now it's on Netflix, and I think I've watched it ten times since y'all have requested it. So like within the past like two weeks, I have watched it so much and it's so <laughs> good. I'm obsessed. I, I think David is sick of hearing me sing how far I'll go and it's just, it's bad. I get emotional every single time I watch it. It's just such a beautiful movie. The visuals, the animation is gorgeous and I love Moana. She's just such a strong, amazing, adorable character. I love that she's not necessarily a princess and I love that there's no, um, there's no romantic story in the in the story which I really appreciate and I just think it's a beautiful story just I love it and the music is amazing and like I said the animation is just stunning so I took a I wanted to keep it I didn't want to load myself with makeup because I just wanted to keep I okay I want to say the word natural this is by no means natural but I wanted to take inspiration from the natural scenes and scapes in the movie if that makes sense so like I took inspiration obviously from the like the blue ocean and the green from Tafiti and a little bit of oranges kind of working in Moana's kind of like garb of course like different like the sunsets and stuff like that so I just kind of picked colors I really wanted the focus to be these greens and blues just because those are the colors that stuck out the most to me while watching the movie with Tafiti and the ocean and all of the islands and I those are just the colors that stuck out to me so I wanted to make that the statement and then I just wanted to pair it with something that also fits into the movie but complements the colors so I went with these orangey tones. I didn't want to make it, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm gonna kind of go back and forth from like wearable to not really wearable in these series, so I think the next one is gonna be kind of absurd, but the past two have been relatively wearable. You know what I mean? Thank you all so much for recommending that movie to me because I'm obsessed. I actually watched it earlier today and the entire time the entire time I was filming this look for you guys, I was listening to the Moana sound soundtrack. Did you all know that the girl who plays Moana is 14? Which is insane because the whole time, every time I watch the movie, whenever I hear her sing, especially like towards the end when the songs get like really, really powerful, I'm always just like, this girl's voice is way too like mature for how young Moana is supposed to be, or at least how young I assume her to be, which is about like 15, 16, you know? The dang girl is 14 who sings! And that's just, she has so much talent. And I've just learned a lot of really cool things about Moana as a movie, and I just, I just love it and I'm obsessed. So thank you guys. Because of you, I have something to watch for the next months until I get sick of it. So this is the look that I came up with for my next tutorial in the kids movie inspired look series. Comment down below and let me know what I should do next. I'm thinking The Lion King because I haven't done that many classics. I've been trying to stay away from looks or from movies that everybody has done looks inspired by. Um, that's why I probably won't do The Little Mermaid just because I feel like there's so many Little Mermaid Ariel makeups out there. So I think I might I want to do classics, but I don't want to do classics that everybody has done. Yeah, no? So comment down below, give me suggestions, Lord, or not Lord of the Rings, <laughs> what? I should do a Lord of the Rings inspired makeup. Anyways, uh, The Lion King is like hands down my favorite classic Disney movie, so I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm kind of running out of ideas and I want to get at least three more in, I think. So comment down below, let me know what you all want to see from this series next, and if you want to see how I got this Moana-inspired look, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start off with eyes as, as we have been with these tutorials, and I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just going to buff that in and then set it down with a little bit of face powder. 
Then we're going to start with some Makeup Geek shades. These are the Makeup Geek shades in Chickadee and Early Bird. I'm mostly going in with Chickadee, but just with a little bit of Early Bird to deepen. And we're just going to buff this all over our crease areas to act as our transition shade. I really wanted to pair these greens and blues with more warm tones, as I said in the intro. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek shade Poppy, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to keep this lower in the crease, just so we can still see those like yellowy tones and just deepen deepen up the actual crease but still kind of buff it out a little bit. Then I'll just go back in with more Chickadee to just blend it and kind of just bounce between those colors to make sure it's all nice and blended. You all know the drill. And then I'm going to take the ColourPop shade in Top Notch. This is actually the same little Z palette that I used for my Princess and the Frog makeup look, but all the colors were just there, so it worked perfectly. But I'm going to take this on an e.l.f. crease brush or blender brush, and I'm just going to, again, pop this even lower in the crease and in the outer corner. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in Epic, and I'm going to take that on a synthetic brush, and I'm just going to pack this on the very, very outer and very, very inner corners of the lid. Now, this may look really weird, but trust me, putting deeper sparkly shades as bases to kind of create depth for lighter sparkly shades really makes a huge difference. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. When I was initially doing this, I was like, is this going to turn out? Well, does this look bad? But I'm really, really glad that I did it because, again, it ended up giving it so much more depth than if I would have just went in with the shades that I'm about to go into later. So, again, just packing that on the very, very inner and very, very outer corner, and then I'll just go back in with my blending brush and just slightly, slightly blend the edges. Then we're going to take the Makeup Geek Foiled Pigment in Voodoo, and I'm going to pack that pretty much kind of on top of the other dark green, but I'm going to take this farther in. As you will see, as each color goes on, I move closer and closer to the center of the lid. That's so I can create a nice gradient from dark to light, from green to blue. So I will take this a little bit closer in so that we can create a nice base for the next bright green that we're about to go in with, which is the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in Limelight. Again, I'm going to pack this even closer to the center of my lid on top of that Voodoo pigment, again, just to create a nice gradient. I'm just using the same brush here. And I'm also going to take this kind of across the top and kind of connect the inner to the outer just so we have that one little spot in the center of our lid that we can pop the blue on on top of. <laughs> And then the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in Pegasus. This thing is so gorgeous. And like, literally, I think these colors nail the colors of like Tafiti and the ocean and all of that. I just think they're absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to pop that right in the very, very center of the lid. And I'm first going in with my finger, just because I think it's one of the best ways to apply Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows. And then, yeah, I mean, come on, come on, seriously. Look how freaking gorgeous they are. And then I'm just going to go in with a wet brush and just kind of refoil and just kind of re-intensify just the center of the lids. Then I'm just going to dust away any fallout with my setting brush and then we're going to move on to face. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. I'm in the shade Porcelain and I'm just going to buff that all over my skin with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I forgot how much I love this foundation. It's an oldie but a goodie. Such a good, nice full coverage foundation at the drugstore. Then I'm going to take the Catrice Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer. I'm taking the shade 002 all over my face, and then I'm going to take the shade, I think it's 050, yeah, underneath my eyes. And I'm just going to buff that in again to just conceal and then to highlight my under eyes a little bit. Then I'm going to set my under eyes with my NYX HD powder in the shade Banana, and I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush, one of my favorite brushes in the entire world. It's so good. Then, of course, just going to set all over my face with my NYX Set It and Don't Fret It in this e.l.f. tapered powder brush that I've been obsessed with. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek bronzer in the shade Sunkissed on this e.l.f. angled face brush, and I'm just going to bronze up and kind of use this as my contour, even though this is... I'm not really contouring. That's, that's not really a thing. I'm lying to you. Anyways, <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to bronze up all over my skin. I'm going to make sure to take this like down the sides of my nose and all of that and across my nose just to really warm up my skin and give me that bronzed beach look. 
Then I'm going to take, now I'm going to contour. Now I'm contouring with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, the shade Fawn, and an e.l.f. mineral powder brush. Then I want to really glow up and bronze. I'm taking this Milani Tantastic Shimmery Bronzer, and I'm just dusting that kind of over my bronze. And I went a little too crazy on my forehead, so you can just clean it up with your setting brush. But I just wanted to create a really bronzy look. Then I'm going to take the Steely Style High Impact Blush Palette in the shade Bellini, and I'm just going to pop that towards the back of my cheeks just to give me that nice summery flush. And then I'm going to highlight with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is seriously one of my favorite highlights. It's so gorgeous and finely milled and just looks so naturally glowy, and I'm really going to go in with highlight. I'm going above the brow. I am going literally everywhere. It's I'm obsessed. It's so good. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to keep it relatively simple. I'm just going to go in pretty much with the same crease colors that we used. I'm first going to take Early Bird, and or no, I'm first going to take Chickadee, which is the lighter, more yellow ch shade, and then I'm going to take early bird and I'm just going to pop it with a smaller brush a little bit closer to my lower lash line. Again, I didn't want to overload my face with makeup. I just really wanted the colors to pop for this look. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Sparkler in Solstice. It's a really, really light, icy blue and I'm going to pop that in the center of the lid as well as in the inner corner. I just love this. I feel like it really kind of mimics the like sparkle that the ocean has. It's so, so pretty. And I am taking that on a wet pencil brush and I just used my um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray to wet my brush. All right, we're going to fill in brows once those brows are done. I really wanted a golden highlighter, so I decided to dip into this Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. It's so gorgeous, I'm obsessed. And I'm just going to take that more golden highlight, and I ended up mixing it a little bit with the white highlight, just because the golden highlight was like a little too golden. I needed to lighten it a little bit, so I did that for my brow bone highlight. Then I'm going to take my Steely Style Stylist Liner, and I'm just going to do a very, very thin line just to the roots of my lashes. Then I'm going to take the, well first, I'm going to take the Steely Style Lip Liner in the shade Hamptons, and I'm just going to line and fill in my lips, and then I'm going to take the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade, I think it's called like Banana Sunday, Banana Split, I'll have the name of it for sure listed down below. And I really, really liked this shade, but it was a little bit like too bright and orangey. I wanted more of a kind of cream sickly shade. So I decided to pop a nude gloss on top. This is the NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream in Natural just to kind of mix it and again give it more of a nude hue to it. And then we're going to pop on some Ardell Studio FX Demi Wispies and we'll be done. Right. right everybody and this is the completed look. I absolutely love love how this turned out. I love the pops. Like these Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows are just insane and I feel like they really do justice to how gorgeous the greens and blues were in the movie. So I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's really fun. Really, I think this is pretty wearable. Like obviously green and blue eyeshadow looks are only wearable to an extent, but if you would wear this out. I think it's really wearable and I think it's really really pretty and I just love how it turned out. So again, please comment down below and give me suggestions for movies that you all would like to see looks inspired by. Like I said in the beginning, I want to get a couple more in. Thank you all so much for suggesting Moana because it's one of my favorite movies now ever and now I really want to go watch it again but I already watched it today. Yellow. When I get obsessed with something, I get obsessed. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Bye!